Anyway, so, but, or... These are like dominant chords. Sus4. A second ago, you were just kind of like approximating, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this one. That... Right here? Yeah, Jazz. like that, yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's like good. it doesn't even have to be... This is like F, it. right. F, B flat, E flat, A flat, B flat, G flat. And then you can Jazz. come up like, um, let's see. What's a good one? No, no. You could do like a kind of an augmented one. Maybe the first one is normal, and the second one's kind of yes. fucked up a little bit. So this would be a B flat. Now I see what you mean about the carpet too. You mean yeah. like as far as like showing the carpet? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. You oh, that's it. what you mean. Carpet's meant. just killing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I got. Now I got the. I got the angle. Minor oh, thirds. Those, what was I doing? Oh yeah. Anyways. That's a good one, uh, the sus stuff. You can also half step it around. So instead of just only circle of fifths, I think Kokoski showed me this. And then E. touch that yeah. you're using right now but for like gospel or whatever it's just the same thing but you just lower like the volume by like 70 oh, percent <laughs> they're just light like with it i church. didn't know that it's like as light as possible really yeah <laughs> This is flat nine, sus. I love melodic. Dang. Wait, do, that, do that again with the flat nine. Let me see. Just see the first one. Just see. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. So you got the 13 flat nine.
my poor hands. So it's as okay, far as me, I can reach, Dad. You got this sauce. You got down here, you got that. It's just a just whole bunch barely. of Just barely, look at that. I can just use my fingernail to get it. And this is like a... But you think e of this as like dominant. Yeah, E flat 7 sus. So if you have a sus in the left hand, like a, yeah, then if you just like straight up play G major in the right hand, it's like, or E minor even, if you do an E minor, mm. yeah, that's become, it's even though, because there's sus stuff down here, that's like the color tone up there. You know so what I mean? the three becomes like yeah. the tension. Yeah, like if you listen to um, Mr. Day, McCoy's chords on that i think it's like he does like e triad and g flat triad like that yeah something like that and then the chord is f sharp oh so it's like the three on top of the sus. yes yeah, exactly so the major third up high So it was like and then a fourth F triad, with yeah. an F triad and then a G triad. A fourth with a G. Sorry. Yeah. With yeah. A, yeah. G yep. triad like this? Yep, and then you can and then you can do the or 13 e on top. Yeah. Yeah. E minor is cool. Oh, because the triad is here. Yeah. So it's basically. Yeah. You did that in your Herbie video too, right? Like these little stacks of triads. a lot of tenths, you know, so, but I can reach these just barely in a lot of keys. For me, right now, I'm still at a point where I'm just trying to see, like, what you call mental shortcut, which I started using that all the time, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Grant, Grant Richards' uh, uh, turn. So I'm trying to just see the two triads and then add. Yeah. So I would probably practice it, like, Try the this one that you did. Was uh, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, was, was that it? Mm -hmm. oh, the middle notes and the right hander. Still, okay. How do I conceptualize this? Well, I see the major seven sharp five here. up a half step from the root, maybe. Like these things are automatic for me. Like a, yeah, this that's just this is easy. Easy. And then this is yeah major yeah. seven sharp five, half step above the root. These chords are so good. Yeah. Melodic minor. Was that not that one? Was, that was wrong? Yeah. Oh, because you're not close yeah. because of that. Right. So instead of A melodic minor for this one, you would do F sharp melodic minor. So an A major 7. 
a major seven sharp five. It just sounds a little different. A major seven sharp five. Oh, because it's this. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's just different. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. It's basically this, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. D, B, B dominant. So you can totally use this on B dominant too. Oh, for sure, yeah. C7? Wow. Killing. It's weird because it doesn't have the major third in it. You know what I mean? Yeah, and because the 13 is at the bottom. Yeah. Alright, so let me start from the beginning, so... Circle of fist, baby. Or fourths or whatever. Mm -hmm. Damn, I need to know all these chords. Mm -hmm. Wow. Are these chords like something that's already very much so in your arsenal? Uh -huh. Like, do you use it? Without thinking about it, if it's a if it's a like a pedal point on a, on a you know what I mean like the intro to intro to someday my prince will come yeah I feel like Herbie plays this on that intro maybe it's just a cool color mm, for me it's just about focusing on the touch like like I want to play it as if I already know the sound then it sounds so much different than if I'm like... Yeah. You know what I mean? Let's change it up. <laughs> so when you practice it like this with the circle, mm -hmm. it doesn't even matter. Like, I can think of this as... C dominant, but I can also think of this as A flat dominant, like what we, uh, sorry, not A flat, E flat dominant. Okay, yeah. Like it doesn't even matter how I call this or the context, it would be more about just first just getting it in your hands, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that's why it's good to practice it like this. So just to sum it up, this this if I'm doing it in C, the scale that you're using over this is basically E flat dominant, right? I'd call it B flat melodic minor. Yeah. Like if you're Barry Harris, it would be. Well, I don't know about that. I don't know that jazz. very well. That sounds really cool. That's what it is. Because now you can... Now right. you can do all that stuff. That's really cool. Because really, if you're Barry Harris, <laughs> this is a combination of notes from, from the diminished mm -hmm. and B flat minor 6. Right. So... That's how we would think about this stuff. <laughs> you got these notes from the minor six. Oh, only these notes. And then these notes belong to the. Oh, yeah, these notes are from the minor six. And these are from. The related diminished, right? That's yep. That's one way. I don't know. That's how he thinks about it. Yeah.
this is too vanilla. Like, I don't want to just do... Like, we can technically take this... And move it up the scale. Like, even just like... <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know about that G flat. <laughs> I don't know about that stuff. So the Barry Harris thing. Whenever I do this shit, I just think of melodic minor. Yeah. Seven note scales. With, without the. Without the approach. This. Yeah, because it's already so far removed from. So, like for example, if you're doing C to F, C seven to F, you know. If you start doing all these diminished oh. chords approaching B oh. flat minor, you're going to get even further away. Well, the you know what I mean. The reason for this is just so it's an eight note scale. Right. That's what it's good for. So. Right. That's right. what's good. Like this is what I, right? You would do like. Or you can just start one note early. True. It's almost like part yeah. of the scale, like when you do Because the reason for this is so then these notes mm. fall on the strong beats of the right. scale. Like Because these are the important notes of, of the scale. Yeah. Here, let me... I mean, you can do the chord that you did. Is this it? Like that, yeah. This is it, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Isn't that? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, to me it's always good. You know what I mean? Like... This is where the Barry Harris stuff is good for. Because when you do this chord... So you add some symmetry to the scale. Yeah. It's a very specific sound if you do it like that. Yeah. But... Yeah, it's a harsh piano. Yeah, it's hard. But I like it. It can, like, you can sound like chick easily on this. Yeah. Like. <laughs> that little, little bleep. There you go. <laughs> Forgot how to sound like chick. What's your, what's you your go. best chick impression? <laughs> <laughs> Kirby does this too. Yeah. Oh. Did it die? Almost low power. Low power. Oh, low, low power. power. That kind of shit. <laughs> A 
But then when I was younger, I really knew how to sound like Chick. No, not anymore. Thank you.